Hey everyone, we're going to be releasing the Metaverse SDK for iOS in the next couple of days and I just wanted to give you a sneak peek into some of the cool things you can do with it because we're really excited about it. Uh, basically it lets you embed any Metaverse experience inside of your own app or even inside of a framework. So what this means is that you can create your experience in the Metaverse Studio and render it inside of your own app without having to have the Metaverse app installed on the phone. If you've used any of the big mobile ad networks, you already know how to integrate this. It's super straightforward. You get an API key, you download the framework, and you tell it what experience you want it to present. I've gone ahead and made a couple of demo apps just to showcase some of the use cases that excite me. This first one is called Meta News. It's just a simple news reader, you can tap this, open websites, whatever. Uh, it has these banner ads. And instead of linking to websites or intenting to the App Store, these banner ads natively render Metaverse experiences. So if I do this Lumosity fit test, it renders this Lumosity quiz that was created inside of the Metaverse Studio. I'm going to end that. This Lego one, Batman needs you, tap to play. This renders this little Lego guy in AR inside of the Meta News app. So I don't need to have the Metaverse app installed on my phone to be able to render this. And I can pin this guy. And now I have AR Kit enabled interactive ads inside of my own app using the Meta SDK. Um, and this. So this other one, if you remember this game, Flappy Bird, you can see at the top I have three lives. I'm going to die. One more. And when it's game over, I get this button that says play an ad to get three more lives. And I tap it. And I get this Coca-Cola timed trivia game. What year was Coca-Cola invented? Nope. And this goes on. And then I have to do the whole thing. Let's do it really quick. Okay, so I've made it through this whole interactive Coca-Cola quiz, thanks for playing. And then when I go back in the meta into Floppy Bird, now I have three lives again and I can keep playing. So these are cool because this gives you the ability to make banner ads and interstitial ads have interactive content. So usually you'd see something like that and it would be like, hey, watch this video. And then after you watch the whole video, you get more coins or something like that. This you can create pretty much anything. You can make a quiz, you can do an interactive story, you can ask your ad viewers to take selfies and enter text and spin probability wheels to see if they won prizes. It really opens up a whole new dimension of interactivity to mobile advertising. So this last demo app, um, isn't an ad demo, it's thinking more about how if you have a studio or an agency create an app for you, typically once they deliver it, that's kind of the end of it. And if you want to get something changed, it's a whole process. What the Meta SDK allows you to do is to define places in this native app where you want to link out to Metaverse experience. So you can have these buttons in here that do normal app things, and then you can also have buttons like this daily game that when I tap it, it launches this Metaverse trivia experience. Are you Charlie XCX's biggest fan? Take the lyric quiz and find out. And this is really cool because it lets you add and update and change content into your native apps without having to involve developers, without having to recompile and resubmit to the App Store. You can have a non-technical creative individual come up with new content, new fresh content for your app every single day. And it's super easy to do and it lets you do things that would take a lot of time if you were to send this app back to the studio who created it and say, hey, I want an augmented reality version of HQ Trivia in this. By the way, I want to be able to change it every day. That's simply not possible with the current process for these things. And now it is. Um, so we're really excited about this. Make sure you're following Metaverse on Facebook and Twitter so you get the announcement when this is available in the next couple of days. And thanks for watching.